Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be installing or attempting to install Windows NT 4.0 on this blue and white G3. So some very smart people on the internet have figured out a way to get Windows NT to install directly on bare metal G3 systems. They've provided uh, instructions, an ISO to modify your uh, boot drive, um, and, uh, and that's how to give this a try, see if we can get it to work. So Windows NT was actually originally built to run on multiple different architectures, uh, x86 of course, but also Digital's Alpha chip, and PowerPC. IBM was running PowerPC systems back at that time and they could boot Windows NT 4.0 natively. The problem with the Macs, of course, is their whole boot order, boot selection, boot process is much different than on one of the IBM systems. So we're gonna need some things to do this before we can just take this G3 and get Windows NT on it. So let's uh, get some supplies here. So first we're gonna need an ADB keyboard. Uh, we technically don't need a different hard drive, but I don't want to change what's on my hard drive, so I'm going to install a second drive to boot off of. And then we need the ISO that they've posted on GitHub. And finally, what we need is a Windows NT install CD. So I've got that here as well. So there are a couple of caveats with the current implementation. I think this... Uh, project is rather new, so there's uh, some things we need to do to prepare our system to make it work. I got to feel like a machine. That's no way to feel. This is a very customized G3, by the way. So the first thing we'll do is shut it down. And let's go ahead and open it up. So this system is running the uh, standard ATI Rage 128, which was not compatible with the second release, but the uh, author, the developer, the maintainer has released a, a patched version, not released, but it's posted on GitHub under one of the uh, open issues. So it should work. Um, we'll leave it in there for now. The hard drive where it's connected will not work. Uh, PCI IDE drivers are not currently developed. So we need to put our replacement hard drive where the zip drive is. With that, our zip drive slides out. Then we'll replace it with this hard drive. All right, so we'll leave the uh, faceplate off for now. Um, I will disconnect the original hard drive, and now we need to plug in our ADB keyboard. All right, so with those couple of changes, I think we're set to begin the install. So let's go ahead and power it on. So I'll insert the uh, ISO here. Hold C on the USB keyboard to boot off of the CD-ROM. All right. So we're just gonna be following these instructions. Um, as you can see, it's now booting off the CD-ROM, installing the, uh, not installing, but booting off of the NITs. I uh, can see that it's a knitted IDE, ADB, and PXI, no USB. So this will not be able to be natively installed on a standard iMac G3. iMac G3s do have uh, ADB in them. It's just not exposed in a port. So I guess you could solder one on if you wanted to do this. Otherwise, uh, need an ADB keyboard. All right, so we get to this point and we're just gonna start following the instructions here. So on page two, uh, we have installing. So the first thing we need to do is partition our disk. So we'll go to run firmware setup, repartition disk for NT installation. Uh, so that's found our disk there. That's a, I've got an eight gigabyte drive, so we'll just use that one. Um, and it wants to know the size of the NT operating system partition. Uh, NT typically cannot install on a partition larger than two gigabytes. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just make it like 1500 just to be safe. Um, now we can also create a Mac partition if we wanted to dual boot this thing. Um, I've already got a whole Mac hard drive, so I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a little bit more uh, work than I'm willing to put in at this early in, this, in the game, but uh, we will do finish partitioning and install. And it's telling me that it's going to destroy every day, all the data on the disk, which is fine for me. Now, if you were trying to use the uh, built-in disk or trying to use the other ID for it, uh, it would say there's zero megabytes available. The system might hard freeze. It might just go back to the main menu. Um, so this does need to be plugged into the uh, secondary IDE channel, which isn't PCI. All right, uh, so it says it's successfully done what it needs to do there. Um, so now we need to press any key to restart and boot off the CD again. So I'll hold down C on the USB keyboard. All right, we're booting up off the CD now. All right, so at this point, what it wants us to do is to eject the CD. And we'll take our Windows NT 4.0 workstation CD, pop that in, and then go to run a program. And the program to run, the path is provided here. So it's gonna be CD colon backslash PPC backslash set up LDR. Now it's noted here in the instructions that this may not work on the first try. And if that's the case, you just need to do it again. So it didn't. So let's go ahead and run the program. CD colon backslash PPC set up LDR. So now we should get the Windows NT setup screen and we do. So Windows NT uh, is gonna go through and do its stuff here. And then when we get to this screen, it says setup could not determine the type of computer you have. And that's noted here in the instructions. So we are instructed to choose other. And it says when asked for the hardware support disk, just press enter. All right. And then it says uh, a list of here, which uh, Macintosh I happen to be running on. It wants to know at this point in the development stage of this software, um, all are equivalent and will load the same Gossamer chipset hardware extraction layer or hell. So just for fun, I'm going to say I've got the Power Macintosh G3, but again, it doesn't matter what I picked there. Um, next, it should tell us that it couldn't determine the mass storage driver in the system. And that's exactly what it says. Um, so we're going to hit S and we need to select the Mac I.O. IDE controller after selecting other. So other, hit enter again, Mac IDE PCAI IDE controller. All right, and then we'll hit enter to continue. Oh, uh, no, first we need to specify an additional device. So we'll go to other, hit enter, and We'll pick the USB and ADE, ADB controller. All right, and now it says it can't determine the video module installed in the system. Uh, so we want to choose other. Hit enter again, and the open firmware frame buffer. And this is where we get stuck. So at this point, it seems like it just has hard locked the system. Uh, it spun down the CD drive, and it doesn't progress any further than this. Um, so I did talk to uh, somebody on GitHub site about this, and they were trying to install on a Blue and White G3 as well. And they actually got past this point, um, and they got to where you need to specify your keyboard layout and some other settings. Um, but uh, on my system here, it didn't make it that far. So, uh, like I mentioned, this is still fairly early in development and there are definitely some additional things that <laughs> need to be worked on. Uh, unfortunately, the maintainer developer of this code doesn't have a blue and white G3. Um, I think he installed on uh, one of the PowerBooks, um, which has uh, apparently worked for him and some other people as well. So if you're out there and trying to install on a blue and white G3 today, uh, you know, around July 14th, 2024, 
you may get further, but probably you're still going to get stuck. Um, one thing that was mentioned in one of the uh, issues that was open on GitHub was that uh, the NT loader is probably looking for a floppy drive at this point, or it may be looking for one later on. And of course, there is no floppy drive in the blue and white G3, so uh, talking about some of the solutions for that, maybe we can you know, patch the uh, files on the NT4 CD and then, you know, reburn that, but uh, there's still some work to go. So we're actually running Microsoft code here on the PowerPC chip. You know, this is their setup screen. This is the uh, NT executable trying to load, but it's just not making it. So that's where we are today. And I hope to make a part two where we actually do get the blue and white G3 up running NT4.0. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one. Hi, guys! Make sure to like and subscribe, and watch more of our videos later.